I'm late, I'm late, I'm late for a very important date. No time to say hello, goodbye. I'm late, I'm late, I'm late. They were the words of the White Rabbit and Alice of Wonderland. And yes, I am late for my own cup on tea. It's a day late. Whoa. Folks have been just having a crazy week now, like the White Rabbit, racing from deadline to deadline at the present minute. But here's the thing. Last week, when I was thinking about the verse of scripture that we were sharing, I just went and um, afterwards was reflecting on it. And so I spoke about Paul, that he'd learned to be content in all circumstances. And we know that the circumstances he found himself were all crazy circumstances. And then I quoted the verse from Proverbs and chapter 19, verse 23, and I'll just read it here to you. The fear of the Lord leads to life. Then one rests content, untouched by trouble. And it occurred to me that when you hear that verse, you're going, yeah, right. Well, we all know that's not true. We all suffer from troubles and grief and hassle. And it isn't promising. This verse isn't promising a trouble-free life. This verse is promising that in the midst of your troubles, you can be content. You can rest content. And so, as Christians, when we face bad news, when we end up that we hear something that we don't want to hear, be it illness, or a phone call, in our case, many years back, where suddenly our house is on fire, or when you end up that you in a car crash, or all these unexpected events, you can end up that you can still rest content in the Lord. So maybe you're someone and you're going through a bad time, you're going through a rough time, and the last thing you need to hear is that, you know, oh, a Christian life is one where you can be trouble-free. You don't have to have any hassles or problems. That's not what God is saying. God has never said that. And if you read the Bible stories, or take time to read the Bible stories, you'll see that that has never been what has taken place. What it is, is that we can be content in the knowledge that God is with us. So that fear, if we have a respect for God, and by having respect for God, part of that is the fact that you actually end up, that you are inviting God into your every day. You, you expect life to be able to only run in some sort of an even keel if God is involved. And even if troubles come, because God is with you, you have nothing to fear. You can rest content. Troubles come and troubles go. And some troubles can be fairly permanent and fairly serious. You might be someone and you've ended up that you've gone through a personal calamity. Or you're going through a personal calamity. Or, maybe worse than that, you know that the diagnosis is not good going forward. But what is God saying in this scripture? He says you can still rest content. And that to me is where it goes and says... That one of the things of the Lord is that we have peace that passes all understanding. When it is that you should be jumping up and down and losing the rag and going crazy and freaked out by the circumstances you find yourself in. You find that in the midst of that crazy time, you can rest content. You have a peace that passes all understanding. It's not supernatural, uh, a super spiritual t sort of thing. It's not a inward peace sort of thing. It's not, you know, by focusing in one's mind or a psychological trick you're playing on yourself. No, the source of it is God. And so, even in the midst of all the hurry and racing, I needed to stop up for this quick cup of tea with you. And just go and say, hey guys, do you know that verse I went to mention last week? It doesn't mean that you're going to have a life without trouble. 
But what it does mean is that in your midst of your trouble, you can rest content.